Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. If you're enjoying these video tutorials, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com. You can find a link to it on the right hand side of this video on YouTube. And when you go there, you can pick up the DVDs, which are high quality, uh, high resolution DVDs. And you're also going to find never seen before videos. I call these DVD exclusives. For you purchasing the DVDs, I want to give something back to you. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get right, uh, get started right into our tutorial for this segment. What I wanted to show you of was a way of combining pictures to make a really interesting looking picture that then you can have printed, hung on your wall, and it's a great conversation piece. Let's face it, a lot of times Photoshop is just that. We're building conversation pieces. We're actually taking pictures and creating something that was never there, or we're enhancing something to make it more dramatic. And I found a way, playing around, to combine two pictures that I think is pretty cool, and I think you're going to like it. And that's the name of this video, Combining Pictures. So we're going to first get started here. We have some pictures that I took of a city and they're all relatively the same they're just a little bit off from each other from the angle that I shot these so that's what you're going to need to do first you could probably combine pictures that are not the same you're probably not going to get the same effect but hey play around with it it could be interesting so as you see I have the first picture here open in the editor and what we're going to do is <coughs> oh, excuse me we are going to overlay the second picture on top of this first picture and all we have to do to do this is to go to file place and you have to know the name of the picture that you're going to place now this first one up here is named 0041 so the second picture obviously would be 42 that I wanted to place on top of this one so I like to go to detail view and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to pick out number 42. Right here is number 42. And we're going to click on Place. What we just told Elements to do was to place this picture right on top of the other picture that we had. And we had it open the editor, and we just placed a new one right on top of it. Now what we're going to do is make sure it's placed where we want it. And all I'm trying to do here is just cover that little bit up on that one side. That looks pretty good. Then you can hit the enter key or click the little checkbox. Now the next thing we're going to do to combine these two pictures is we're going to take this and we're going to erase the background uh, image, the background detail from this and this will let this uh, picture below here, it will actually let it show through is what we're going to do. This is also done in um, HDR and I know I've never done an HDR which are, is a high dramatic range picture you can do it the same way you can layer your pictures and then bring the pictures back up through using some techniques uh, sort of like these but right now we're just talking about combining pictures to give this a different view if you go to your toolbars and you right click on your eraser tool you're going to find the background eraser tool click on that and make your brush size as large as it'll go It'll save you some time if you make it as large as it'll go. And then what you're going to do is just left click your mouse and just start erasing. Just going right over here. We're going to erase this stuff out. Take your time. Let the computer catch up to you. You don't want to go too fast here. You want to make sure you're getting the eraser uh, laid down here. And what you start to see is those two pictures actually combining themselves together.
just like this. We're actually putting these two together. So what you're seeing, these are a little bit off center. They're not perfectly on top of each other because then I don't think you're going to have the same effect. So when you take the pictures, you're going to work with this. You want to make it so they're a little bit off center. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second here. I like to go over it just a few more times just to make sure I have it here set up. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm talking about a little bit off center, if you look at this building here, we have the main building from the picture underneath. Because if you shut this off, you can see the picture underneath and turn this back on you can see now see the overlay basically is what that is it's almost like you have a ghost town set in the background of this picture so you're getting a different view of your actual picture itself and that is kind of what it looks like now if you see any place that you might have to go over a little bit you may want to lower your brush size maybe get some detailed in here make sure that you're uh, cleaning this up a little bit Maybe you have too many uh, ghosts in there, or whatever you want to call this. It's kind of what we came up with. We kind of just left enough detail where it's going to show through. So when we did the eraser tool, now we just have a little bit of detail showing through. You can see now if we put that back on there. And that is kind of how you combine two pictures to give it a different look. And actually, um, if you look right up here, this building here, look right beside it, now you can see it there. Anything in your picture you don't like, you can actually keep going over it and erase it back out to take it completely out of the picture. Maybe you don't want that detail shown down here. And another way to do that is shut this off, and you can actually erase this stuff down here. You can clean it up a little bit if you want. And then turn it back on to overlay it back in there. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial of combining two pictures. It's just something I was playing around with, I found, and I thought I would share it with you. That it's pretty cool. It does something with your pictures that wasn't actually there. And it makes for a conversation piece. Like, wow, how did you do that? Maybe you can amaze people with this. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube videos, please click the little subscription button. You'll notice that my channel page has changed. I am already set up on the new channels that are coming to YouTube, and I wanted to be one of the pioneer people to jump on board and try it out. So kind of threw the formatting off a little bit, but we'll live with it because it's changing anyway. So we have to get used to the new format. So, folks, until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.